Hi everyone, it's uh, Diane um, here with stampingwithdiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So if this is one of your first times joining me, I'm so glad that you have found me. Um, make sure that you do subscribe. And even if you've joined me before and you've never subscribed, make sure that you do subscribe. That way you get notified immediately as soon as I upload a new video. I also have a link to my Facebook page and to my Facebook group. For this particular one, this is our, how did they do that, Technique Tuesday. And basically, you will need to be um, into the group in order to download um, a PDF that I have for this particular technique today. So let's just jump on down to the desktop and let's see what we're going to do today. Now, another tried and true uh, technique, and it's bleach stamping. Now, more, I think this is more like collared, and I think I'll probably change this, is bleach coloring. Um, bleach stamping is a tiny bit different of um, a technique, which I haven't done that, but um, I, I think it's more bleach coloring is actually what we're doing. Now, depending on the color of cardstock that you use, you're going to get... Um, pretty amazing results with some of them so i strongly suggest and i will show you this later on all the different colors that i came across but it's amazing i when i was playing around uh today i went oh my goodness this isn't working the way it used to work um so i'll show you what i i discovered today so it's um it's rather interesting. So one thing you want to do is it's very, very important that you use a good bleach. I went and I bought some Clorox bleach. It was very, very um, important to get this. Don't go to a dollar store. Trust me, it's not the same type of bleach. You got to make sure that that bleach has been, um, it's good and fresh bleach. If you had it sitting around the house for a few years it may not work i'm not a bleach person so basically um the rest of this bottle is probably going to go down the toilet for just to clean the toilets and that sort of stuff but yeah a good bleach well ventilated bleach is is one of those things that's very um it's strong right and there's some people that really like the smell of bleach and there's some people that don't like the smell of bleach um i'm in between it doesn't really matter um, a bleach pen from the 90s may not work. Um, it might. It, it may work. You know, those, I, I have no idea. I Like I say, I'm not really a bleach person. Um, however, I do like this particular um, technique. And I, I think we're going to call it bleach coloring. That's for sure. All right. So a few other things. Be very careful. And I'm being very daring today wearing um, black. Because as soon as I get bleach on something like this, it's going to ruin my, my top or my shorts that I'm wearing. So I'm going to be very careful and we will, we will survive. Anyways, I'm using this Honeybee Home. I haven't used this one um, in a long time. This is from the annual catalog. I didn't want a big image um, to do this coloring with, but I wanted you to see the idea that's behind it. So I used this image here and I used one of the bumblebees as well. Um, I'm not sure which one it is I used. Now, when I first did this, I really, really wanted to have, um, I wanted to do it in black. Black was, I remember, this is something, this is like Shades of the Past that I used to do. I, I remember making uh, invitations for my dad and they were, In the Wild was the name of the stamp set. And it was an elephant and it had, it had, different safari uh, animals on there and I did the bleach technique with it and I actually stamped with the bleach and on the black it was totally different this black now honestly like I've got this here I also do not put bleach in my in my water painters I um I just don't I I just have cheap paint brushes that I use and basically um then I can throw them out if they're no good. So this is a piece of basic black. And I just want to show you, this was the side that I was busy trying to work on. And then I went and I did it on the other side. And it's really weird that the paper acts out just on one of, um, just on um, one side. Huh. 
Hi, everybody. I'm just reading some of the comments. Somebody likes this set. Well, that's good. I haven't really used it. But see, on one side, it doesn't really bleach. And on this side, it does. So let me show you something else that I was just totally amazed with. And um, so I went and I've got these kind of done. I know which ones they are. I've got them cut out over there. This is Night of Navy. On one side, it almost goes like a pool party, party color. And on the other side, it goes pink. Does that make any sense to you? It doesn't make any sense to me. So when I went to cut these, because I'm using my deckled rectangles, when I went to go cut these, I cut from different sides. And then really what happened was um, I found it was two different colors. So I'll show you how that works later on too. All right. So we are going to, and I got a bit of bleach on here, but that's okay. See, this is what I mean. You want to be really, really careful with this. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to show you some other experiments that I kind of did. I have Knight of Navy cardstock. I love this um, die set. They're the split card uh, texture dies. Unfortunately, I have to tell you that these are um, not orderable at this point, but they're coming back in sometime in, in August. So you'll be able to get um, these later on in August. But I decided to cut this floral one there because I thought floral kind of goes along with the floral. I'm also using these deckled rectangle dies. And what I'm going to do is it's just going to go on there is how this is going to work. Now, I have to stress again, it is very, very important to use good bleach um, and not old bleach. All right, so in order to do this particular technique with the coloring, you're going to need to do some heat embossing with it. So I'm just going to come in with my embossing buddy. And I'm also going to come in with my Versamark. And like I say, we're just using this stamp set. I'm just going to ink that up. And hopefully that piece up there is going to be somewhere where it's going to be covered. And I am just going to press that down on there. And black embossing powder. So I'm coming in with my black. We better put a lid on there because I know what I could do with that. And then let me just grab that brush from our embossing kit. Didn't quite line that up okay, but it'll be okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat set this. I'm going to put this bleach on the ground. I just have visions. But like I say, we're just going to heat this up. Oh, good. I'm glad you're looking forward to this technique. This is really kind of cool. It really, um, more so than stamping with it. When you stamp with bleach, you have to make like a, um, a stamp pad with it. And I'll do a stamping with bleach later on. Um, but this one is just, I love this technique. And there's some techniques that I just love to, to do, but they're really, really difficult to do, especially on camera. All right, so I'm coming in with my cheap brush. Um, and I'm going to take off an awful lot of that um, bleach off of the the paintbrush. So I'm just going to come in here. And I'm just going to be very careful. Now, I've gone outside the lines. And you know what? It'll be okay. It's art, right? And if you have a lot on there, it will go outside the lines. I got a lot of bleach in there. Um, now, the more detailed your, your image is, and with the lines that come from the embossing folder, I mean, from the um, the embossing, 
are really kind of cool because you can get some also some really neat techniques. I, I tried this with um, the hues of happiness or the happiness blossoms and it's so pretty. But like I say, I just wanted to, I haven't used this stamp set in a long time. So it's good to go back and revisit the, the catalog. So we'll just color these buds up here. And then what I can do is I can come back in, but see how this is going a pink shade. To, on the camera, it probably looks white, but actually it's pink. And that's why I went with the um, Blushing Bride because it almost goes to a Blushing Bride color. Now you can go back in and take some more off. Now other variations is you could come along and you could color this like a whitewash does but for the purpose of this one I definitely want this to show pink now I could also use the heat gun to reset this the only thing is is I don't want to overcook that embossing powder on there um, but I would use the lower speed on your heat tool so let's just, I just want to get some more in there. All right. So, and I didn't get something. And what I want to do is I want to get a sentiment. Now, some of these sentiments on here are amazing. Um, stay wonderful. You're the nicest. That one's a really nice one. So glad we're family. So, <laughs> I say that we're so glad we're family. I'm sitting there going, oh, well, anyways, such happy news. You could do congratulations. You could do happy birthday. I'm thinking, what should I do? What kind of a card should I do? Um, um, maybe I should just grab a stamp set and just say, I'm going to use that one. So let's stay away from our Christmas ones. Um, let's do a best wishes. Oh, you know which one would be really nice would be perched in a tree, the words on there. So let me just grab that one. Somebody has asked me to do some cards for them. So I'd like to kind of do them here. Yeah, this one, no matter the season, I'm here for you. Let's, I'll put that one on there. I think that'll be a good one to put on. And I did try stamping with the bleach um, on here and I didn't like the look of it. So I'm just going to go in with our ink and do it. It is. It's just like magic. I'm going to come in and do it a tiny bit more again. Now, and I'm going to show you some other experiments that I did with this. I probably would have wished that I had cut this out with a die. And it's crooked. So let's just bring that down. See if I can get that one straight. Yeah, that's better. All right. Okay. So we're going to put that across there. We might even put a border on it. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm going to come back in. I want a little bit more. And this might be because it's still wet. Now, wait till you see all the different colors. Now, like I say, if I had done this on the opposite side, it would have gone kind of like a, a pool party or a coastal cabana. I'm just going to move that off to the side because I know what I'm like. And I'm going to come in with my heat tool, put it just on the first one. And we're just going to dry that off a little bit more. Like I say, I don't want to, I don't want to, overcook the black embossing powder on there but see how that's starting to lighten up there there we go all right so this is going to go here i'm thinking um I'm bringing my little trimmer like this needs a535 on here it's pretty squeaky you know what? I might have even 
Hmm. Let's see how that's going to look. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Now, what I also thought would be kind of neat to see on here is let's add a bit of texture to this sort of stuff here. So I'm going to come back in with my paintbrush. Now, this is where you have to be very, very careful is let's just splatter a tiny bit of this bleach. I think that's probably going to be enough. All right. And then I also want to kind of put some ribbon on here. I think it needs something. Um, and I didn't show you this before, but I've already gone and I've, I did the uh, B and I've already cut it out and look at the color of the B. It's yellow on that pink. And we're going to put that kind of off to here. All right. So I'm going to glue this on. Yeah, I love these split dies. The borders are really nice. And there's another artistic expression that is pretty cool in itself, too. I like these standalone dies that they don't go with anything. Um, so Karen is saying that she made her own Chucky and she made it out of a hockey puck. That's a great idea. And Dr. Scholl's moleskin. Oh my goodness. That reminds me. I should pick some moleskin up. And then what I'm going to do is we have this seam binding and I think I'm going to, I'm going to color it. We might do it navy. We don't have any pink. That's the unfortunate part. So if I went with the light navy, would that be two? Let's see. Yeah, that might work. Um, I'm just going to loop it. We don't have any navy. We don't have any real good pink to put on here. And with this seam binding, I like to color it because I find it so flimsy and it's also so staticky if you don't color it. All right, so this is just going to loop. So we'll come in with our seal, which I am seeing now that I left that upstairs too. So I'll just open another one for down here. And let's just put this along here. We're just going to loop it. And I'm thinking I don't have enough. I'm sit there and I can, I'll just quickly color some more here. Oop, almost, almost um, spilt that bleach. You know what? I'm going to put it away right now. There we go. Let's see how that's going. Let's color just a bit more. I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. Need something behind. Oh, you know what would have looked good? Is maybe just the twine. You know what? I might even mix the two of them together. Just come back and watch the rerun. That would be fine. That would be awesome. All right, so let's just cut this. And like I say, I want to get some of, I want it to, maybe it's a little bit of overkill. I'm not sure. It's just, to me, it's a very plain card. There. Yeah, that's that's going to work. And then we're going to come in with our dimensionals. And because this is black, dark going on there, I'm going to use my dark dimensionals. Kind of 
kind of get those down with the dimensionals as well, the string. Let's see. Well, that wasn't very good. Okay. And I'll come in with my take your pick tool. Take those off. Now, you could even, um, at this point, you could even turn around and you could um, speckle the back here if you want. I see I must have gotten some um, bleach on it because I can see it's a little yellow. This isn't coming off. There we go. There. Okay. So that's just going to go like that. And see this B. We're just going to put it on like so. And I'm going to put that one on with. Here. Just like that. And then my sentiment can go right here. Yeah, I think that'll work. I'm going to put the strip across there. You know, when you have these strips from your dimensionals, make sure that you use them. Just like that. And I want this along the bottom because that's popped up there. I'll just put some glue up here. There we go. There we go. Now, what I can use are these solid faucet gems on here. They have a petal pink. They also have a navy in, in these um, solid faucet gems. So I'm thinking to myself, wow, I, I, I honestly, I thought of the pink is what I thought I was going to go. Um, but I don't know. Let's see. It's got quite a bit on there. And one here. There we go. All right. And then, of course, for the inside, all we can do is um, I had some petal pink to go on the inside as well didn't even score that. Come, well, I did score it, but I didn't use my bone folder to get it down. And then what we can do is I think I'm going to come in with that B and I'm going to do it in Night of Navy. I'm just going to put that right there. on the inside. Thank you. Now I want to show you the effect of colors on our um, our cardstock. Okay, so there's the card. Now, just to let you know, and I did kind of the same sort of design for it, because when I was working on it, when I did the opposite side, the other side of the Knight of Navy, it went blue. Take a look at that. Is that not weird? Like pink and then this, this coastal cabana sort of type thing. So those are the two cards using the bleach. And then what I want to show you, and this is truly amazing. So I went and I thought, well, let's do a bit of an experiment. I tried designer series paper. This one, it didn't work. It might be because there's a bit of a, a waxy sort of type thing there, but these are amazing. So, and I didn't try both sides. So it'll be interesting. Maybe I'll turn them around. This is gorgeous grape and it kind of went to a pool party. This was um, Pacific Point and it kind of went to um, kind of a green um, sort of thing. Look at this petal pink. It went white. It bleached it out completely. 
out. And then this is Mossy Meadow, and it went kind of a, well, it, I don't call it a pleasant color. Then with your pool party, it went to almost a balmy blue. And then this one, it went to a yellowish color. Um, this is Poppy Parade. This one wasn't much of a difference. This says this also went to a blue. So I see that these blue ones almost go to greens. See how they go? This is Bermuda Bay. I like this one. This one's Mary Merlot. And it went to a yellow. And of course, there's the pink on the Knight of Navy. Change it over to the other side and you get this blue. And then this one, take a look at this. This, um, this was Evening Evergreen and I almost went a crushed curry. So it just shows you there's so many different ways that you can um, put this together. My goodness. Like, So experiment. And if you're wanting it to be a certain color, especially say with the Knight of Navy, this would have been nice with some speckles on it. You know what? Should I? No, if I do speckles, it'll go all over the place. Um, but um, but it just shows you, make sure you know what side you're working off of. And then that's the side, like I would, I would take your image, I would cut out, but I would mark which ones it is. So, um, but the black, like I say, didn't work as well as what I, it used to work. And it might be because of the different dye tones. See on the one side, nothing. This side, it kind of goes a yellowy sort of thing, but not like it used to. It used to go really, it, it would almost go this color before. So it's just something that you can experiment with. So tomorrow, what I'm going to do with my um, PDF, I'll change it to um, bleach um, coloring. Um, I'm going to put these two samples down here, but I might even show a picture of these um, with the different colors on there so that you've got some... Um, something different to look at. Um, so hopefully, like I say, you enjoyed that. Um, so what's happening? Um, now we are, um, I just, just see a real disaster coming here. My battery on my computer was almost, or my laptop was almost off, sorry about that. In any event, um, so um, tomorrow, mystery stamping, 3 o'clock. I'll give you three clues at um, noon. There's going to be a color. I, there's a bit of a hint there. There's going to be a color in it. Um, and um, then I, get, I won't be here on, on Thursday, but I do have a pre-recorded uh, sketch challenge for Saturday. So at least you'll have that there. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, tomorrow, 9.05. I will have this PDF. I will post it in the Facebook group. So if you are joining me off of YouTube, make sure you go down below, get um, asked to join uh, the Stamping with Diane Stampers group. And with that particular group, that's where you'll get the PDFs and you can download these PDFs there. So have a great day and we will talk to you soon. Bye for now.